Hey friends, Andrew here, hope you're well. Finding a website that you love so much you end up bookmarking it is sort of like finding a diamond in the rough. So in this video, let's take a look at 12 incredible websites you likely haven't heard of that will help you save precious time, navigate the web more easily, and do some pretty amazing things. If you ever need to transfer files quickly and easily between devices, this website is incredible. So it's called snapdrop.net and it works exactly like Apple's AirDrop but it's compatible with any device on your network. All you have to do is open up Snapdrop on both devices, then the device will pop up on each other's screen here, then just drag and drop the file you want to send, then boom. On the other device, the file will pop up for download and it's as simple as that. This website here has been amazing when I need to quickly transfer large files from my Windows PC to my Mac with zero cables or hassle. And I can't believe that it's completely free with no account required. Next is a clutch website for people who don't read fine print and terms of service, which let's be honest is practically everyone. So this is TOSDR.org, which stands for terms of service didn't read and this website analyzes the entire terms of service and shows us the most important points so let's check it out because you're going to be surprised how much we actually agree to so let's use PayPal for example and let's search for that so type out PayPal and immediately if we click into it you can see all the important clauses color-coded here so when we sign up to PayPal according to this website, we actually waive our moral rights. But if we scroll down to the green area, the positives are, for example, our information isn't shared with third parties. You can click into the clauses and read more about it. But yeah, this is a great website and tool to use if you're ever sort of unsure, you know, what you're signing up to. This site is just one search away to deciphering the entire terms of service for you and is absolutely a website that I recommend bookmarking. Another brilliant website that I constantly use is Diff Checker. So this website here automatically compares the difference between two documents and is ultra handy when it comes to picking up the differences automatically. So all you have to do is pick the document type and you can even cross check images and Excel spreadsheets for differences. So let's just click documents and then upload the files and almost immediately, once you've uploaded them, it will show me exactly what's changed from version one and version two without me scanning the pages myself. So this has saved me hours when it comes to contract changes or when people send me updated files with changes over email. I can check all of this automatically without spending half an hour looking through the documents. Now, if you ever need to save a website, you have to check out archive.today. It's a simple website as you can see, but if we want to capture a website in a point in time forever, all you need to do is type out the URL and let's use time.com as an example. It will do its thing and then it's recreated the web page that will always be online even if the original page disappears. And you might wonder, can't I just take a screenshot or save the web page as a PDF? And you could, but the difference is that archive.today is it supports heavy JavaScript sites. So we retain the functionality of the live links. So for example, I can literally browse around time.com and click the links and interact with the website as exactly as I see it today or from a year from now. It's an awesome tool, especially for web pages that change around like, you know, price lists, real estate listings and job listings. So going through this list of websites so far, you can probably see how important and useful websites are. And if you're ever thinking of building your own website, well, today's video sponsor, Hostinja.com, is an awesome all-in-one website builder to bring your idea to life within minutes. So on Hostinja here, there's great plans for fast and secure web hosting. And I would personally recommend the business plan because it gives you access to inbuilt AI and e-commerce features. Okay, so from here, Hostinja's new AI website builder makes it really simple to build a website. All you need to do is answer some prompts here, then input the name of your website, list the website type, and then describe the website. And boom, just like that, it'll create the website base for you. Zero need for endless hours of coding or designing a website from scratch. 
From here, you can use the inbuilt AI tools to quickly customize the website. So for example, you can use the AI logo maker here to automatically generate a new logo for your website, or even use the inbuilt blog generator to begin filling out your website to make it more interesting. So the new Hostinja AI tools get the base up and running within minutes, but then you can always use the usual drag and drop editor right here to get your website just right, whether it's adding new segments or generating new images, for example. So if you're looking to build that website effortlessly, you can check out Hostinja in the links down below. And don't forget to use the code AEZ10 to get that extra 10% off. So moving on now, this next website is a really fun one and it's RetroTV.com. So here you can surf a bunch of old school TV channels from different eras for a fun and nostalgic time. The range of channels are actually pretty impressive. There's classic music channels, cartoons, and even old school news channels. I love the flicker effect applied on the TVs and buzz when you flip through the channels. It's all pretty authentic. It runs all the way back to the 50s through to the 2000s. And honestly, the first time I found this website, I spent forever browsing the channels and just reliving my childhood. It's more fun and nostalgic than genuinely useful. But if you appreciate the websites as much as I do, I think it's always worth donating a coffee to the creator of this website. It's always nice to recognize the hard work put into these websites, especially when they're completely free to use. Next, if you want to speed up your typing, Monkey Type is great and an aesthetic website to practice typing. So unlike many other type tests, you can customize what you want to type out, whether that's words, a quote, or something completely custom. Then from here, go ahead and blaze away with your keyboard and do your best with typing out uh, the sentences as fast as you can. And then it'll give you a full breakdown of your typing speed and accuracy. So I've used a load of different type tests and monkey type is the best one that I've come across yet. If you're more competitive though and want to type race against others online, typeracer.com is another website that I love to use. Now, this website is one that I love to send to my partner. It's called Just The Recipe. So if you look online for recipes, you'll probably know that often it can be filled with lots of extra information, pictures and stories, which are great, but sometimes, you know, we just want the recipe. So all you have to do with this website is copy and paste that recipe link and boom, it formats the recipe really nicely and it gives you just the recipe. You can even save, print, and change the measurement units for the recipe here. I don't cook as much as I'd like to, but I almost always use this website when finding online recipes. Now, there's plenty of times I've seen a font and thought, wow, that's a really nice looking font. And knowing that I'd probably never be able to find out what that font is. Well, this website here, what the font, will find the font for you. So by pasting the image of the font that I like, it will identify the text, then click on the identify font, then it'll give you a list of all the possible font matches here. So you have to go through them manually to see what matches, but honestly, nine out of 10 times, it does get it right. But yeah, this is an awesome one, especially if you're a creative or appreciate typography design and wanna find what that font is. Another great website for creatives is the Noun Project. So we all need to use icons, whether it's for a school presentation or you're just looking to create an infographic PDF. Well, this website here has the most diverse collection of completely royalty-free icons to use. So to put this to the test, let's look up something really obscure like, I don't know, like a giraffe. So once we search for it, there is, as you can see here, over 580 free giraffe icons to choose from. And if we click into one, all you need to do is click download, basic download, and then click continue. And there we go, we have the PNG and the SFG file, as long as you make sure to attribute the owner. It's basically an incredible uh, library of over 5 million quality icons. The next one is super simple, but useful. It's called PrivNote. It allows you to send top secret notes that auto delete after the person reads the note. I'll show you how it works here. So type out the note that you want to send and 
In the options, you can add when it self-destructs, add a password and a notification to you when it's been read. You will then get a custom link to send to the reader. And once they open that link, they'll get the message. But as soon as they refresh the page, the message is gone and the link won't work again. It's a great website if you want to send a quick private note without it being retained on servers and remaining private. Then speaking of privacy, the next one is 10 minute mail. And this website generates a temporary email address you can copy and paste to help sign up for accounts and offers without being spammed, which is brilliant. So once you copy and paste the email address that has been generated, the email will then be delivered to this inbox with let's say the sign up code that I wanted and the inbox will then vanish after 10 minutes. It helps bypass spam and protect your identity if you just need you know, a quick new inbox to grab a quick email and then that's that. So which of the 12 websites will you end up bookmarking? If there's any websites you feel like should be on this list, please feel free to comment them and share with everyone else. If you made it to the very end of this video, comment the code word World Wide Web and I'll drop it a like. I'll also drop a video here to a bunch of incredible AI tools that are free to use and you'll probably want to check out. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.